Here is the front of 4430 Monitor Rock Lane in Carter Springs. It's in a secure gated community with security at the front gate checking IDs of everybody coming through. And this is a couple miles up from the gate itself up a windy road. We had to climb a pretty good hill to get up here. Here's the driveway coming in. Four car garage. There was a storm last night, so there's that explains a lot of the debris on the ground. It was a pretty intense storm, even uh, was heavy rain and hail and washed out some of the streets. So normally this place is a lot more cleaned up, but uh, they didn't get a chance to clean it up before I came. So that's why you're seeing lots of leaves on the ground. Double door entry. Let's go inside and take a look. As you walk in, you're greeted with a high vaulted ceiling with skylights and balcony in the central living area. To the right is a more intimate sitting area. There's another room here they set it up with for the pool table. This room could have a number of purposes, but it's got a wet bar, TV, it's kind of like a little entertainment room as they're using it. You even have ping pong. Here's an office or study. And from here you have views of the plains overlooking Colorado Springs. It's a bit cloudy and hazy today, mostly because of that storm last night. And passing through, there's a three-quarter bath here with shower. Another sitting area with access to the balcony. And now we have some informal dining in the kitchen area. They have it set up so they can have a TV in here. There's an older style intercom system throughout the home. There's a walk-in pantry. And accessories for the central vacuum, which they, they keep some of their outdoor cushions here too. By the way, the flooring in here is oak. Here we have granite countertop, a whitewash style of cabinetry, double oven, electric cooktop, refrigerator freezer, the sink has views. And we will continue on this level before we go outside. Here we have a butler's pantry. So it's got a wine fridge and another full refrigerator. Access to the garage, I'll show that in a minute. They have laundry on this level. More storage either side. Powder. Here's the garage. Has a painted floor. Some cabinetry, very tall ceiling. Looks to be about 12 feet or more. 
from the kitchen out to the deck. I can already see they have a gas line for the grill. This is a, a wooden deck that's got a solid hide stain on it um, and it needs some work. It's maybe hard to tell but there's a little bit of rot there. It has a, a wood ceiling that's been painted. It's a lot of space here. Coming to the end, it's hard to see the mountains because of the clouds and haze. But here's a view off the end and of the side yard of the property. Part of the partial view off of this balcony. And the mountains are to the south here and west. And we have uh, plains out to the east. We're a bit above Colorado Springs. So. Most of the rest of this deck is not in bad shape, but the ones um, mostly in the sunlight area, maybe just a little bit in, are more weather beaten. But the interior ones are in much better shape. So this might take a little bit of repair, but it can be fixed up nicely. I think one area I failed to include coming from the butler's pantry is the formal dining. It's got tall windows, several at the end are operable. And the dining room has access to the main hall. At which point, let's go upstairs. It's a very light colored carpet on the curved staircase. You get to the top overlooking the entry. And let's start on the left here. This looks like a master. Access to, this is a concrete patio. We'll get to that in a bit. Double doors, pocket doors to the, the bath. Looks like we have some travertine. We have a jetted tub and fireplace. There we go. We have sink area, cultured marble top it appears. Here we have a steam shower, updated head and valve, very spacious, lots of room in that shower, and walk-in closet. Okay, from the master bedroom. So this is a concrete balcony. As you can see the garage and driveway overlooking the grounds. There is some maintenance needed on the uh, stucco here. The views. This is pretty good. I'm really sorry that it's just so overcast on this end. We, we have a lot of moisture in the air from that storm last night. So this balcony could use a little service. I would do some crack sealing and whatnot. It does have a drain system. The 
spa top looks a little tired. So might want to see about updating that. And here's the view at the other end. Same as before, seeing the side yard just a little higher up. Here's a few of the neighbors. Get a better view of their homes. And the view of the plains. Looking out over Colorado Springs. This balcony seems to have what I would call a southeast orientation. So true east would be more that way. One of the interesting things about this is you're, you're passing the entrance of Garden of the Gods um, to reach this. And uh, the roads are all well maintained. Directly from the master is like a sitting area, it has a refrigerator, sink, microwave. This is like an accessory room to the master and uh, there's a hot tub up on this deck. That's not a terrible place to sit and enjoy the views. Coming back out to the balcony area, there's another bath, or bedroom, I'm sorry. Um, and it has access to that same balcony and views. So we're definitely above all the other homes on this level. And it has its own uh, private bath. Cultured marbles countertop. Uh, jetted tub as well. Views of the mountains out this window. Steam shower here as well. That's a pink tile. And it's got a little bit of mold that could be cleaned up. Here we have a closet. A bit smaller than the previous one. And there's a water closet here that has access to the main hallway. In case guests need to come up and use the bathroom, they don't have to cut through somebody's bedroom. Well, let's go out and take a look at that uh, balcony. Okay, from the main hall, there's access to the basement level. Same curving staircase as above. Light colored carpet. Immediately see a bar on your left, and I apologize, I didn't get all these lights on before I came in. It does have a full kitchen in here. Access. If you had some help, beer fridge, trash compactor, some older appliances, dishwasher, and there's even a pantry. So plenty of storage here for this, this level. Looks like a marble top. So, the floor back here is the newer um, tile. It looks like wood, but it's a tile. Here we have a bedroom. And facing out towards the areas. Looks like they've got some irrigation pipes hanging out there. So, Good sized walk-in closet for this bedroom. And it has a full bath. They updated the flooring. And I have a feeling, I'm trying to figure out the lights in this room. Um, they've got black curtains here. They may have turned this into, yeah, I can see signs. There used to be a projection TV and mounts for speakers and all this. So this was their, their video room. And the, the curtains.
curtains were more for acoustic effect and also no reflection. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's good sound attenuation with those curtains. And then out to the cross, my hunch is this is unfinished part. We'll get to that in a minute. Here we have another bathroom. It's just a powder sink and toilet. And area with a gas fireplace. So this is a good family room area. There are some built-in speakers in the ceiling. Uh, there's two in this room. And this is another bedroom with access to the outside. This is on the end with that side yard I kept looking down at from the, uh, the, uh, the balconies. They updated the flooring in here on the walk-in closet. Again, it's for an accessory bedroom, it's a good sized closet. And they have also another full bath. Looks like finished identically to the one opposite. Updated toilet cooler. And so I think that completes the interior with the exception of that unfinished area. And here we just have a storage closet. I think the unfinished area wraps quite a bit around. So here's the water main coming in, pressure reducer valve meter, expansion tank, all that fun stuff. Two water heaters, both not too new. Um, they're not terribly old. They have the igniters on them, so they're probably maybe 10 years old, roughly. Uh, regular efficiency furnace by train. That looks a little... There's two of them. So, it shows a service of 08. Here's the central vacuum tank. So all the vacuuming is going to end up here. This room is insulated, uh, probably more for sound, so you don't hear much of the furnaces or whatnot running. And so there it is, humidifiers, that, that ought to be checked. Main electrical panel for probably this level. Here's the a lot of the coax. It's mostly coax distribution. I'm not seeing um, any any internet wiring. Okay, I've just walked out the door on the uh, lower level. There's a little bench to sit on out here. There's a a path, and again, that part's all covered with leaves from the storm. Yeah, you know, these trees usually have a few more leaves. So that was a pretty intense storm that came through. They got some pines growing here. So I think some of that might need some maintenance. Um, there's no real lower patio under the deck. And I have my shoes off as required. Um, so uh, not really wanting to walk under there, but there's uh, stones and whatnot. Little bits of this up here, slightly overgrown. There's a better view of the underside of that deck. If you wanted to make that into a usable area, that could be done. <laughs> 